My name is Jeff Kresge and I am the Jamestown Social Studies Curriculum Coach and I'm going to explain to you about the Grade 5 project for May. The standard that we want to hit is 5.6 and it has to do with the government and the standard actually reads, the political systems of the Western Hemisphere vary in structure and organization across time and place. So what we're going to do in this one is we're going to compare the Declaration of Independence of the United States to the declarations of independence from other countries, Haiti, Venezuela, and Mexico, and um, the influence of the United States freedom from England over, uh, is it compared to other Latin American countries. So let's take a look, shall we? First of all, if ever you want to see information on any of the projects, you can just click the link right there. But then what we're going to do is we're going to get the introduction, and it says, why do countries declare independence? And it'll give you a little background there on the Declaration of Independence and its authorship by Thomas Jefferson. The next thing we want to do is we want to take a look at the first project that the kids will be required to do for May in grade five, and that is... What does a translated introduction to the Declaration of Independence look like? Now, this is a bit of a daunting task because the Declaration of Independence is one of the most beautifully written documents, but it is written by uh, very well-educated folks way back over 250 years ago. So it is a bit of a challenge for kids, and I wanted to make it as fun as we could. So the first job that we'll have here is to go ahead and set the mood with a really fun video. It's too late to apologize. It's a parody of the song. And uh, Thomas Jefferson actually does the leads, and uh, Ben Franklin is on guitar. So enjoy that video. And then I posted the lyrics as well. So after we get the feel for why we're declaring independence, we dive into the actual declaration itself. And I really want the students to feel and to hear the words of the original Declaration of Independence. Yes, they might not get it just yet, but I just want them to see and to hear them. So Max McLean, a professional actor, does a reading of the Declaration of Independence so that the kids can read and see the words and kind of feel their way through that. The next thing that I'm going to have the kids do is, because it is a difficult document, I want them to translate it for their fifth grade friends. So, what I did was I asked the students to uh, translate it. I gave actual text of the document, I gave some vocabulary, and then I'm asking the kids in the blue box to actually go ahead and write the translation of that. So, we hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal, that they are endowed by their creator with certain inalienable rights, that among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. So what would that mean for a fifth grade student? So if a fifth grader was to write that in their own language, what would that sound like? Again, paragraph and a couple of vocabulary terms, and I'm asking the students to write their translation. That takes us to project number two. I gave them a little help on this one. So the Declaration of Independence is written in three parts. The first part is the right of all human beings that Thomas Jefferson said were given to us by God. The second part of the Declaration of Independence is a list of 28 ways that the king took those rights away. And the third part of the Declaration is a statement that because the king took away those rights that God gave us, he must think he's better than God, he must be therefore crazy, and therefore we don't want a crazy leader, we are now going to declare independence. So, again, I want the kids to do a translation. I was nice to them. I translated the 28 grievances of the king into 14 I siphoned them down, and so I just want the kids to read through what it was that Thomas Jefferson was complaining about. Then the kids are going to go back to work, and the kids at this point have to sum up two of the most beautiful uh, written, uh, written documents in the English language, paragraphs rather, and they are the conclusion of the Declaration of Independence. So I chose this line right here. And I chose the culminating climax of the entire document right here. And I left it uncut because a lot of it is just spelling out the Declaration of Independence's uh, titles. So the United States, the United Colonies, etc., etc. But it is a very powerful piece and they didn't want to cut it up. So I want the kids to go ahead and do a translation of that paragraph right there. Ultimately, the Declaration of Independence. The third part, and again, remember, we're supposed to be comparing the United States to other countries and our influence over those other countries, is I created a chart 
that shows the countries and when they declared independence and where they're located at. So as you can see, the United States declared independence on July 4th, 1776, and all of these countries soon followed. So I wanted the kids to see that in the chart. The next thing that I want the kids to do is I found uh, cut up excerpts of the Declaration of Independence from Venezuela, from Haiti, and from Mexico. And I want the kids to choose one of those three. Go ahead and read the excerpts that I put together for the kids. And then compare the United States and the country that they chose. What's similar and what's different. So what follows is Venezuela's Declaration of Independence, Haiti's Declaration of Independence, and Mexico's Declaration of Independence. And then I want the kids to tell me which country they chose to work with and what is similar between that country and the U.S. Declaration and what's different from their country and the U.S. Declaration. Again, my name is Jeff Kresge. I am the Jamestown Social Studies Curriculum Coach. If you have any questions about this project or anything regarding the teaching of social studies, please email me. It's jeffrey.a.kresge at jpsny.org. Thank you.